Hey everyone, welcome back to Arena of the Arena, and we've made it back to the third floor again with a amalgamation of builds. I honestly, we have a pot full of synergies right now, and I just keep throwing more and more stuff into the pot and stirring it and stirring it around, and somehow it's still working. I have like an incredibly high threshold of damage, and that's kind of what's carrying me right now, but it is a muddle of stuff. Right, let me try and explain what my run is right now. My two weapons are a Demon Slayer crossbow, which puts death mark on enemies when I fire my bow at someone. This is important for an ability in the future. The kill to gain one energy is nice for minions, though. I then have a Knuckle Dagger. Its effect is if I use its power, I get to attack two times. Very good with certain abilities that attack multiple times. Then in my back pocket, I've also got this heavy crossbow. This carried me through most of the game. It has a power effect that increases damage by two and puts knockback on, which again is good for just removing an enemy from my sight. Because I don't want enemies near me because I've got alchemy on me. So I do innately two more damage, but I gain two less block from block guards. So I've just removed block from my deck. I've then got this magma bracer, which I, I picked knowing that it was going to be bad. But if it was ever going to work on my, this run, Sorry, in any run, it's going to work on this run. So I gain one strength any time I occupy a flaming tile at the end of each of my turns. Which, as you might imagine in my deck, means I have flaming cards. I've now got the ball charm, which gives me an energy, but I can't remove cards through meditate, which is fine. I don't need to remove cards. Right, the deck itself. It has everything. But let's look at the down here first. So fireball, fireballer are the two ways I have to get a burning tile to stand in to give myself strength. I have literally not... No, I propped it once, I think, in the entirety of the last episode. But the, the real key components here are the mixture between Razor Sharp, Fireballer, and Demon Slayer. It's a real power build right now. So Razor Sharp is a power. Anytime I, I do unblock damage, I put one bleed on an enemy. Fireballer. Every three times I deal damage, I put a small fireball in my hand. And the small fireball acts as literally a small fireball. It does two damage and puts two burn and burns the tile. And then here's the kicker, Demon Slayer. Any time I do damage to an enemy with death mark on, I do 25% more damage. Now, you might say 25%, that's a decent chunk. But how about if you echo it? So I echo lets me return a card from my exhaust pile back to my deck. And Demon Slayer stacks. So I've been bringing Demon Slayer back from my exhaust pile, back into my deck... Rocking it again, and then it goes to 50%. And now 50% is a lot of damage. Especially when you have, like, winds ups, war cries in your deck. It's kind of crazy, the, the damage output you can get. And I think it culminated at the end of the last episode of doing 360 damage off a, a Flurry. Because we have Flurry in our deck again. You know, an upgraded Flurry as well, doing times three. But remember, we have the Bracer. The Knuckle Dagger, sorry. So the Knuckle Dagger, I can proc it effect twice. So it's actually not... 2 times 3 it can be 2 times 6 instead. And this is obviously not 2. It's way more than that. It, it just like... It's all the little parts of it together. You know, add up. And then don't forget as well. I then have a self-harm synergy in this. So I have no pain or gain to hurt myself. Also standing on, standing on fire tiles hurts myself. And then that procs payback. Which is, again, another thing. And then to refund like crossbow shots, I have heavy range in my deck. And I'm looking to gain more heavy range. Typically, I have the Demon Slayer crossbow in my left hand or my red slot and my dagger in the other hand. But right now, they're flipped. Anyway, I think immediately we want to restore one power back to this bad boy in case I need to do 300 and something damage again on a turn. And we'll fight. Okay. So, we have immediately an Explosion Lord, which is a little bit worrying. I should have mentioned as well, this Fireballer is innate, so it always starts in my deck. Uh, sorry, my, my opening hand. So normally what I do is move away. Oh my god, you're both throwing something at me. Normally what I do is move away. And then... Throw a fireball out. And that's probably what I'm going... Sorry, I'm going to do a fireballer again. I think this might be what I do. The only other thing I can think of doing is throwing a fireball here to push you guys down. I'm actually going to fast reload and see what the card I draw is. It's a strike. If I drew slam, I might have done something different there. Like, I would have slammed and fireballed. I think I'm just going to accept that I don't get to do... 
I, I, I think I'm just accepting I can't fireball this turn. I'm going to take 9 damage off this guy. I'm going to push you down. So you're now shooting your friend in front. Actually, I, I didn't anticipate that. I thought you were going to shoot here still and hit both of you guys. It's not bad, though. Could be better. Okay, end turn. Right, you throw some explosions. Nullify. After receiving damage when activated, reduce damage received by 100%. Reduce attack damage by 50%. Oh, so if he gets hit, he's immune to the next hit. Interesting. So here's my big wombo combo if I want to try and do it. It's Demon Slayer Echo Demon Slayer. I don't really want to do it on the, the same turn though because I'm getting shot for 14 right now. I'd rather not be shot for 14. Now I can shoot you back for 21. Which isn't bad. In fact, I can also war cry on top of that. Hang on a minute. If I war cry flurry... I mean, we're going to war cry anyway. That's now... 30 damage. Hmm. The unfortunate thing with this Flurry combo is Demon Slayer doesn't proc on the second hit of, like, Flurry. So he doesn't do one at 10 and then one that is 12 and 12 again. And also, it's unfortunate the order now I've done this in that I've kind of restricted myself to do that. <laughs> because I, I was going to move. Alright, we're going to take a little bit more damage. I do have a health potion in my back pocket. In case things get really spicy. As they seem to be right now. Oh, actually, I do have lethal. Sorry. Equip the other crossbow. I could have done even more damage, in fact. Uh, there's no real reason to bring this back with Echo. So, let's not. Right, you guys are moving forwards. Uh, this is okay. This is A-OK, -okay, in fact. I can move back here, and we can set up a parry instead. Now, you do kind of counter my death mark strategy, weirdly. But let's do this. Fast reload. Reloads both crossbows. That's something else I didn't know you could do. Uh, parry just does more damage, so we'll do the parry. I guess I'll leave that out. So you now do nullify. So you take zero damage. Interesting. Were I one-shotting you guys before? I presume so. Uh, you're still lobbing shots. Weirdly, you're not hitting my tile. Hmm. Okay. I'd like to raise the sharp this turn if I can. And I can. So that gets my net power off. By the way, the increased energy makes it so much easier just to do things. Because that was, that was literally the weakness of my run. I couldn't set up fast enough. Uh, I can't shoot anyone. Okay, end turn. And there were, there were fights where I was just taking damage because I was trying to set up my powers and I couldn't do everything at once. But we don't have that worry anymore. Oh, we have less of that worry. Like, don't get too ahead of yourself here. Hmm. Slam all the way over here. No. Move here. Slam here. By the way, I'm pretty certain slam was nerfed. It now gives you a fatigue when you use it. Which I think is fair enough. Slam was kind of strong. It's now less strong. Uh, do I want to draw a card? I don't know. I possibly want to faint instead. And get wind up. That's actually what I wanted. So we can set up a kinetic. Uh, how do we lose this run, by the way? What is my loss condition? My loss condition really is health. <laughs> Which I guess is everyone's loss condition, you know. It's like, how do you win a football match? You score one more goal than the opposition. That's how you win. But truly, there's so many of my strategies that rely on me getting like hit for like small amounts of damage. Although there are parts of my strategy that rely on that, at least. Draw three cards, exhaust. I think this is great. Yeah, there's so much that relies on that that I have to be a little bit careful. Just to not keep, you know, taking, like, a bit of damage here or there. Okay, meditate won't remove cards anymore. I can find cards, and I can change their colour. Which is pretty interesting. 
Because I could put everything into a color that I want. Because I probably don't want to, like, you know. I, I don't really think I want to draw any more cards or put more cards in my deck. I could just ignore them, though. Over changing the color. The only thing I was thinking of is making Payback red. Because I normally have the crossbow in my red hands. If Payback becomes zero, then it's a free reload if I want it. But Heavy Rains would also be nice to add to my deck. So maybe I, I do look for that and just accept that it's a different colour. And there's a shot back there. I think we go through this one. And I will create. We can't forget, right? Well, it says I can't, but it is giving me the option. Just create. Let's not confuse the system. Uh, one more trick is just good. Hmm. <laughs> do I fight the elite here? I mean, if I do fight the elite, I have got a health potion on me right now. And that lets me get to the rest behind. I'm a bit worried because I think there was a precognition guy on this floor as well. I don't really want to fight them. Okay, you're not the precognition pre guy. You're the magic bullet guy. So one of these bullets is going to come and hit me. That's your deal, right? Yes. Okay. I'll fireballer. I could really just set up here if I wanted to. Like, I could go and draw another power. I don't need... Wind up right now. So I actually don't think I used one more trick this round. I think I just leave it. I think I just take the parry. And then fast reload. And you give me a heavy rain. Not what I wanted, but sure. Okay, so the, the magic bullet is going up. I can wind up for you. For a decent chunk of damage. Oh, you have magic shield though, so I don't really want to go for you this turn. Yeah, that's the other spicy bit of this battle. Alright. Equip the, the Knuckle Bracer again. Because they hit me wherever I am. I can't dodge them. It's literally impossible to dodge as well. I could kill two of them though. This guy might be a bit of my counter, you know. Oh, I forgot to just refund my energy. Could I have killed them all? I don't think I could. What is this? Searing Ashes puts Pyrophobia on someone. I guess if I'd moved, I could have pocket dusted you. But I just didn't feel the benefit of pocket dust. Well, I'll throw one of them at you and I'll reload. I'm wasting two energy, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, you're going to... Oh, you didn't smack me. Does it show me which one's going to hit me? Because I thought this was going to come and smack me. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm confused. Can I stun it? So many questions, so few answers. I mean, I can't dodge the attack. I couldn't move across one to just kill it instead. But I'm kind of intrigued now. Can I stun you out of your attack? You can't. Oh, you have stun immunity. That's literally what the symbol means. Okay. You know what? Fair play. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, okay. I'll breach you. I'll fast reload myself. It gives me faint. Small fireball me. What would I want to faint? A fast reload, maybe? Sure. Do I want to power shot this and move you? No, it doesn't help me. Just shoot him. Gives me one more trick. Uh, what's in my deck that costs zero that would be useful this turn? I can think fast and draw three cards. I think nothing. I think this is just a bad draw. So yeah, you hit me. You only hit me for three, though. Strange. 
I don't think I fully understand this battle. <laughs> so it's current... Oh, current HP! That's right, if you hurt it, it does less. That's how this battle works. Yes, I remember now. So you're going to do 8 damage to me. And this is the one that's attacking me. It has an arrow on it. Right. I I've done it. I've, I've ran the numbers. I've figured it out. Move forwards. Demon slaying me. I can't add. Uh, you can't stun him, but you can at least do some damage to him. In fact, let's war cry this as well. <laughs> what a scuffed turn I've done. I, I keep forgetting the initiative cost one. I could pocket Dusty. Oh, I've got a small fireball. Never mind. You're dead. Do, 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 do. Uh, and you know what? Take a rock. Remember rocks as well? Pop fireballer. Also, I'm studying fire right now, so I'm gaining strength. I'm actually using my abilities. Look at me. I'm doing it. Speaking of I'm doing it... Stand in the fire again. Ooh, think fast is going to draw me three cards, but I don't know what they are. Let's, let's do it, though. Uh, this doesn't really change much. Echo? Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer me again. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right now. Reload me. <laughs> that wasn't the optimal turn there. Alright, we're taking another two damage. But it's fine. Everything that, again, does kill me makes me stronger. He's about to do bullet hell, which I think means you're firing both at me. Which again is no bueno. But I can block for a decent chunk of damage. Do I really want to stand in a burning tile again? Yeah, sure. Heavy rain. Fast reload. Uh, wait, I have to be careful here. Small fireball. Parry does 20, so I'll block 20 damage here. Really? Is that all it does? You're death marked. Oh, well, you're not vulnerable as well. I guess that was the other thing I did in the last battle. I had vulnerable on them too. You're immune to stun. Alright. Hit you. Reload. I can take 4 damage to do 9 damage to one of these. Which reduces the damage I take by more. So it actually makes sense. I think. Because now I'm only taking 21 damage. So I take 1 damage. Sure. We are slowly hemorrhaging the old HP. And he is getting stronger and stronger by the moment. The one at the back is attacking me now. Hmm. And you have a nerd in front of you. That's really, really annoying. I have to move. There is a red strike in it. This is going to be a weird turn. I'm going to breach you. Which gave me a small fireball. I'll use a small fireball. Why not? I can reload on cripple. And kill. Not too bad. We we took a lot of like chip damage. Haha, you're becoming the star of the show. But in my defense for this build, it's kind of weird. Shall we take power through and just have every single build? No. 
Follow up though. Deal two damage whenever you move, return this card from your discard pile to your hand and reduce its cost by zero this turn. I actually think we take this. I kind of regretted not having it before, but it is pretty good. Take one direct damage, Pyrophobia. It is an interrupt as well. I'm considering getting rid of the heavy crossbow for it. I do like dust. The interrupt is very strong. I kind of regret this. I mean, sorry, this is just better than this, so I would swap. It's whether or not I keep the dust. The heavy crossbow has been useful for me. Don't get me wrong. But the ability just to interrupt the final boss. Maybe I should have potioned there at the end of the battle before he finished. I'm just going to say goodbye to it. If I see dust again, though, I think I will just, you know, I'll drink the potion to heal. All right, meditate and create a card. Think fast. Do I want to think fast in my deck? I just don't think it's bad. So it's like Pot of Greed. If I was playing Yugo and that, like Pot of Greed, you know, wasn't on the ban list and hasn't been on the ban list for like the entire game's history, you'd put three of those bad boys in your deck because I'd rather run a thinner deck. Now it doesn't quite work the same as Yugo because I can't deck out, but the the same similar premise holds. Right, what is my best bet right now? I think it might be to upgrade my equipment. Like, maybe give my Knuckle Dagger another power. So that I can use it twice instead. Uh, I nearly clicked the wrong thing. So I can attack twice with an ability, twice per battle. And then maybe upgrade its stat as well. There is Crippling Dust for sale. <laughs> hmm. Sell the crossbow, take Crippling Dust. It did kind of carry that last run. I do think it's better than the Searing Ashes. Uh... Okay. People might not like this. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to sell the Heavy Crossbow. You've been, honestly, a fantastic servant for me. We've had you for like the entire run. Had I popped the health potion, which I retrospectively should have done at the end of that battle, I'd have been thrilled. But I think I'd rather have two stuns than the crossbow for the final boss. And realistically, all I'm doing now is building a deck to beat the final boss. With this in mind, I think the next game plan is to... I think we fight the champion as soon as I can. I don't think I complete the floor this time. Alright, you're shooting with an arrow. You're charging at me. You're lobbing something at me. All in all, pretty horrible. <laughs> can I interrupt you? I don't think I can. Do, 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 do. Although this guy is going to get hit by the arrow attack. Who are you? Knight Rider. Of course you are. He's also going to get shot, I think. <laughs> okay, if I fireballer, no pain, no gain. Oh, you're doing a front arc attack. Okay, I have to go here then. I was just considering whether or not I stand here and try and murder this up. But I think I do back off over here. The alternative is I move forward and throw pocket sand, but I really want the pocket sand for later. I think again I just take some damage. I do something like this. Payback will become cheap now. I'm taking 21 damage. Oh, you're still pushing forwards. Uh, that's pretty spooky. <laughs> This will take me to will take me to 79, so I don't need to heal right now. Was the arrow wrong then? Because I'm sure it didn't show his attack going that far. Whatever. You'll regret it. I guarantee you that. Yeah, I didn't take that much damage. What the hell's going on? Was it just if every attack hit me? I think it is. It's if every attack hit me. I, I don't know. I only took 12. 
12? Yeah. Oh, he moved me. He saved me. That's what happened. I see. Now, you're knocking me back again. And I'd rather you didn't. So I could move away, just murderate the dog. I could also knuckle dagger the flurry. That's six times seven right now. It's annoying because I can't put the plus fifty percent on you. Uh, six times seven is only forty-two. I say only forty-two is really good damage. But what if I demon slay you and then flurry you instead? Am I accepting just standing here? I don't need to just stand here and take this. Because you are attacking Jason. I can move here. Because then I'm just getting restricted from this dog. I think. Nope, you're charging forwards. Okay. <laughs> Your charge animation is so confusing. Okay, we've definitely misplayed then. Breach. Gives me Echo. I can't use Echo right now. But I can hit you for 33. And then I can fireball you. And then I can drink my health potion. Ow. So you also hit your pupper there. But you did just stun me. I'm going to try and break through you this turn. Holy moly, this is actually getting really bad. Everyone is shooting me right now. But I can put up a parry. Are you still marked? You are marked. If I fast reload, I war cry, I parry, I get 21 back. And I can break you, I think. Yes, I can break you. So I don't need that much anyway. We'll break you. Gives me a small fireball. You know what? You die now. And I'll reload. It keeps us stunning my deck, but... And yet I'm still getting shot, aren't I? Yeah, but I don't take any damage anymore. Perfect. He's dead. If I can get out of there, then we're happy. But I don't think I can. You're also lobbing shit at me. Have you considered not lobbing shit at me? Because I can't get out of that. <laughs> uh, okay. And you're also shooting me. Brilliant. Brilliant. F follow up. I can fireball you. I can wind up fireball you. That will kill this guy. You know what? Think fast. Draw me some cards. Let me see what I've got. I can draw a card I specifically want. Is anything here very useful? No. The alternative right now is a razor sharp. Get that going. Fast reload. Just reload the crossbow. I think Fireball and K is not awful. I wish it knocked you back one more tile. Because I'm going to take 10. Oh, you're attacking adjacent. I'm okay. Well, I'm not okay. I'm still taking 10 damage. But it could be worse. Right, what do I draw from this? Cripple. Is there a reason to change my game plan? I don't think so. Oh, no. Yes, it was fine. You hit in a five. Holy moly, I'm lucky. Because I didn't think that I did not think that's how that worked. The alternative, I guess, was one trick and pick up a slam and move with slam. But you know what? We've made the right call. So you hit in a five by sorry, two by three, I suppose. I guess that's what a cone is in this game. Uh, do I want to slam right now? Yes, but not the way you think. I think I want to slam this way. Move. 
Slam. And now suddenly the burning tile, so I'll gain one damage. Shoot him. Think fast. Uh, heavy rain. Draws me a heavy rain. Reload. Oh, I should have done it with the fast reload. Shoot. Fast reload. Wind up. Equip the cross. Ah, oh, Let's remove the fatigue. This guy's dead. I could have saved myself one damage. It happens. Uh, goodbye. Okay, what's on the floor that's useful? <laughs> Do I want to add Brand back to my deck? It was cruelly taken away from me earlier. I don't think I want Brand. I get the, the benefit of it for the burn build. I think the birdie's just so, like, second to everything else right now. The shurikens will be added to my back pocket. These can go to the trash. Actually, what do you do? Gain counter. Not necessary. I just intend to not be hit. That's my survival strat. Right, I have to do two more fights. Let's fight here, then. It is the big boy. Oh, boy, it's a big boy. Do you just charge forwards at me? Is that what you do? You, like, jump and charge, I think. All right. Let's get moving. We'll fireball. Uh, it's kind of unlucky that I'm going to waste an energy again this turn. Oh, it's just a big, like, earth slam. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to murder you. We'll think fast. Don't want to draw too heavy rains. That's not what you want to think fast. Uh, I'll breach. We'll fast reload. Uh, I'll heavy rain. I'll follow up. I'll end turn. I can break you when I want to. I think. I hope. I might want to kill you though. That might be a smarter strategy. Like I can just move one tile down and murderate you. Wind up is in my deck. 22 block. I could also block everything. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Give me wind up. We'll wind up the parry. Kill you with a small fireball. Oh, I can do this slightly differently. Uh, I, I'm going to put up the block anyway. That's how it worked out to get to 24. And then I can shoot you now. Another pocket sand. It's more dust. Alright. So I can throw my shurikens as well this battle if I want to. Alright. You move me back. I don't care. You still have death mark on you by the way. Fast reload. Crippling. That puts vulnerable on you. Ah. Uh, you're going to have a bad time. Think fast. Strike. Flurry. Small fireball. Oh, I can't reach. No pain, no gain does nothing for me here. Right. Put Razor on. Fast reload. Gives me wind up. You know what? We can make this work. You take that. Wind up. You know what? We don't need the shurikens. Oh, I can't reach with the shurikens. Faint? I forgot to war cry. I'm done. I missed some damage. And I can't switch back over. Nah. 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 Alright. Are you going to move forward? No, you're going to regenerate. Perfect. We shall cripple you. For big damage. Then I shall breach to reload. And heavy rain. For lethal. 
fighting single target enemies were very, very good. Fighting multiples were very bad, which, you know what, makes sense with a crossbow. I, I like that. Apply one weak. No, that's pretty good, honestly. That's a defensive tool. Pace does not interest me. The jump attack, again, is not awful. Because it is a movement ability. At the very worst, it's two-cost move. But I, I honestly think I'm just going to stick with what I've got. I'm going to get rid of the shurikens as well. I'm going to stun lock the boss. Hopefully he can be stunned. I don't remember if he can. Anyway, let's do an event. A cloaked figure sneaks up from behind the quite sorry behind and quietly greets you. Wanna play to bet on yourself? I can help you. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> so how's about it? Uh damage challenge. Deal 60 damage on a single attack and receive 450 gold. Bet on low odds. Deal 45 damage on an attack and receive 250 gold. Honestly, I'm going to ignore them. I, I think I can do this, but I just, I don't need it, is basically where I'm at. I'm going to do one more battle. And I think I'm just going to go for the boss. Well, via the shop. Okay, you're all immo immovable, except for you. But you're spiky weird. Oh, I guess you got a spike shield. You know what? Fair play. And you are attackers. So I guess you're like the bruisers. I could just set Demon Slayer off. You know what? I'm actually content with this. Give me Demon Slayer back. I set off the double Demon Slayer on turn one. No one's shooting me. They're setting up, I'm setting up. Right, who's lobbing this chip at me now? It's you. But I can hurt you. I can hurt you a lot, actually. Move there where the rock is. So if I throw a rock at you, does it inflict? No, I have to shoot with the bow. So we'll breach first. Gives me razor sharp. Think fast. That's not what I wanted, but it's fine. Fast reload. I don't want any more guards. I think I'm going to have to just ignore Razor Sharp. I don't have enough hand limit. Well, let's figure it out. Follow up. Fast reload. Yeah, I can't. Do, 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 do. I mean, I can break you at, at the very least. Which is good enough for me. Break him. There's a bomb there. I'd feel pretty happy to throw a bomb at you. I don't think I need to think fast again. Gods grant me the power of lightning. Do 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 do. Okay, I can slam back over here so I don't take any damage this time. Which means I could just sit in and pay back you. If I really wanted to. It's a bit of a, a garbage hand. I can pay back you for 46. I can also no pain, no gain, I suppose. Yeah, sure. It makes the payback cheaper. Which lets me reload my gun. Slam away. Reload. Strike. Reload. Enter. He's going to get banged by his friend and killed. And now he has an electrified weapon. So I do not want to be struck by you. And you're doing an annoying attack. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm considering moving here, fireballing in between the, in between them. It's a bit of a weak turn. Alternatively, I move here and break you instead, if I can do that. Uh, I drew both heavy rains in the same hand. This has happened like five times over the course of this run. If I cripple you, I can... Can I break you on a cripple? It's going to do 15 damage. 
Then I have to reload, which I can do with a heavy rain. That costs me an energy as well to do that. The next heavy rain will then do 11, but you'll also be deaf, Matt, so it's actually going to do more. It's going to do 16 instead, so it's going to do 31. I think I break you, and the cripple does 50% on top of that as well. I actually do a lot here. I could be wrong. This could just not work. Oh, I also get the follow-up. I forgot about that. Follow-up doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Yeah, 24. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage. And actually, I needed the follow-up. <laughs> I forgot to add on the initiative, so I'm, I'm very thankful for putting follow-up in my deck. Otherwise, I would not have broke you this turn. And I would have taken some damage that I didn't need to. Right, you still have an electrified weapon. Whenever it deals damage, so it's just you have to hit me. And I have bad time. Okay. Okay. I could use one of my knuckle daggers here to break you, and I think I will. Because then I can one more tri- Oh no, I can't. I need to draw first. Ugh. Ugh, disgusting. I nearly made another miss play then. Alright, I just want to not be hit then this turn, I think, and set up. I could move the crossbow as well to the other hand to reload it. I forgot that was going to happen. It didn't matter anyway, but I will reload for free then. Well, that locks my weapons in place. Yeah, sure, whatever. We wind up. It's unfortunate. Okay, I don't really want to be here. <laughs> You've run out of death maps as well, I think. Yeah, you have. But, war cry me. Double faint me. He's broken. He's stunned. Gives me another war cry back. Give me a war cry. A follow up. A fast reload. A one more trick. Eh. Uh, give me a flurry. It worked. And just. A block in his face. Okay, we now have to start smacking pretty hard. Razor Sharp helps with that. Reload. Wind up. Strike. I have no energy. He's bleeding though. He's not bleeding anymore. I should have moved then, honestly. He's still electrified. Do, do, do. Hmm. I'm going to risk everything. Okay. Didn't give me what I wanted, but sure. Will I get Fireballer to pop here? I think it's too late for Fireballer. Breach wanted the fast reload. Well, now I have a sad time. It, it's not, I just use a dust. I interrupt. Uh, I don't think I want to throw a fireball in my own face. I will go for the lethal this turn. There's my reload. Cripple. And then pay him back. You know, if he puts one of yours in the hospital, you put one of theirs in the morgue. That's the strategy we're using here. Right. Do I want Deadly Touch? Apply 99 Death Mark and 2 Sapped. What do you get when you upgrade out of interest? Oh, you add more Sapped. That's it. Logically, it's good. Because I can just put a ton of Death Mark on the boss and not worry about it. Adding death mark again, which in theory means I don't need the demon slayer crossbow. So I'm not going to take it because I want to use the demon slayer crossbow. Uh, we'll take a bow. And by a bow, I mean a bomb. 
Right, I can now face the champion if I so wish. And I probably so wish. Give me the shop. Give me an item. Okay, the Master Sword. I see, you're pretty strong. I would have liked to have had you earlier. But I don't think you're good enough now. Eh. Uh, I was... I mean, there is another pocket sand. Take a pocket sand instead of a bomb. Sure. I'm just going to stun you to death. Then I'm going to get another one of these. I have two rests, so we'll rest the heal. That takes me to full. I'll rest to train. What's the last ability that gives me a huge benefit from being upgraded? There has to be one more thing. What does Fast Reload do? Draw two cards. That might be it. Just draw more cards. Although one more trick not being exhausted. Yeah, that's it. Just never exhausting one more trick is really good. And I think we just fight the champion now. The event isn't going to improve me anymore. Or unlikely to improve me anymore. And it might give me a debuff. The fight is only going to hurt me. I don't need the money anymore. I have no shops. Just go. Second time fighting the champion. I shall put you in your place. Uh, you honestly might do. I, I don't quite know. I think immediately I'm going to pocket sand to you. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I want a fireballer. We have to just set our powers going as soon as possible. That's how we win this battle. I think I saved the knuckle dad the doubles for later. We... We stun you. So you're not immune to stun. I can just stun you indefinitely. Then I, I throw more burn on you than you've ever experienced in your lifetime. Then I reload. Then you do the same thing again. Right. Now we go... Book wild. I'm just going to stand here again. I probably should have moved because I've got a fireball, but I'll fireball myself if I have to. I don't have thingy up yet, so I can't use echo. But I could one more trick it. You know what? We do. The faster I get this going, the demon slayer, the more damage I do. It's literally my damage dealer. Do I accept not doing damage this turn? I just accept taking 18 damage in the face. Just pocket sand him. Right, he's now doing his doubles flying slash. How about I interrupt that too? I can even stand in the fire. Do I stand in the fire? Sure, I'll take one damage. And we're basically set up now, right? Uh, can you please stop doing what you were going to do? Oh, this isn't uninterruptible. I see. Okay, I wasted it. Well, I still put vulnerable on you. And I think we're going to go pretty hard this turn. Yeah, we're going to go pretty hard this turn. I'm actually going to do something I didn't think I was going to do. I'm going to double up on Cripple, I think. Put way more vulnerable stacks on you. Should I strike first? Wait. Undo this a second. I think it's better to strike you. And then double up and cripple. Because you're taking more damage now. And I keep burning you. I don't need the fast reloads. I end my turn. Is that more pocket sand? Bag of tricks. Draw three cards. Okay, this is where we wanted to interrupt. <laughs> but we can't. But I could slam away. I can actually dodge the attack. Yoink. 
And I think I do. I want to dodge this attack. And I should dodge that way then, to take a rock. This gives me a follow-up back. Which is good. I think. Follow-up? Fast reload. Draw me a good card. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Was it the one I wanted? No. But we're setting up, and I can remove the fatigue from my deck. And you know what? I can't throw the pocket rock at you. Remember there's a pocket rock on the floor. In fact, just pick up the pocket rock. He's now electrified. He's going to kill me with all his might. He's doing circle slash. How about I move out of the arena here? Put this rock in your back pocket. I've... Thrown it! Ah! Why are all the heavy rains coming at the same time? Uh, we'll take another pocket rock, please, and I'll just stand over here, if you don't mind. On the edge of the arena. Uh, I might have to tag this one. Are you immobile? You're not. If I go here and I fireball here, it'll shift you up one. In which case, I'll take no damage. Correct? I think it's correct. It is a little bit of a, a, a weak turn. But he's now burning even more. I am slowly whittling him down. But it is very slow. At some point, we actually have to fight this guy. I shall give you three turns. I think I now want to be in there to fight him. This was my other worry. I'm actually a mile away from you. And I'm going to lose a turn. Oh my god, stand in the fire. Draw wind up. Get kinetic going. Faint nothing. Not what I wanted, but sure. He's moving. Oh my god. You're such a nerd. I have to hit him. He's got vulnerable on. I, I've wasted all these vulnerable turns. You know what? It's time. I'm just going to tank the hit. We've got to do our huge wombo combo turn. I have to have this on this hand. You don't have death mark, correct? You don't. So I shoot with the crossbow with a strike. So you're now death marked. I only have two energy. So I can't... No, I could reset. If I strike you, it's going to put bleed on you as well. Correct? Because I have the razor. Yes. So this will do one more damage. I no pain, no gain. I use full up to reload. No, I don't need to reload. I nearly hit myself with follow up. Because you're using a knuckle dagger, not the demon side of crossbow. That's right. Follow up. Gives me a small fireball. Throw that at him. Throw the rocks at him. Double up. Flurry. It's only 90. I thought I was going to get more from this, but still it's a break. And it's two small fireballs. Small fireball him, small fireball him. And that's going to be vulnerable done, right? It is. For now. Do I just knuckle down to you? It can't be the right play, can it? It has to be better to do this. Because I need to keep putting Demon Slayer on you, and I haven't got it on anymore. That's my, my big damage. Okay, fast reload. Cripple. I mean, this is going to do a lot of damage this turn. Fast reload. Fireball. Flurry. 126 damage. Fireball. Uh, reload. Reload or strike? I think I reload. Ugh. 
Oh, you knocked me the wrong way, you big dweeb! It's the, it's the final two turns. I have to do all the damage to you. Uh, thank you, game, for getting confused. Do I fireball myself? I I can't move him. So I think the fireball is wrong here. I think I war cry. I pay you back. I small fireball you. I parry you. Which puts 68 block up. It's worth it. Ladies and gentlemen! I didn't even know! Holy moly! Yeah, I'm doing like double damage. I forgot. Well, 0.5 times damage. Or well, 1.5, sorry. I can't believe it. Thank you for playing the early access version. This game is still a work in progress. Please follow and share it with your friends. It's W number two. A three hour, four minute run. You know what? I'll take that. What a weird build. What a truly odd build. But you know what? It all came together. And you know what? The Magma Bracer, you gave me that extra bit of strength I needed in the final battle. You were literally just sat there on my wrist waiting for this moment to shine. And you, you know, you were, you kind of shone like a, how would I say this? You know, like those light bulbs in like the Make Your Own Electronic kits? It kind of glued like that. That's the kind of level of brightness you gave. But that's all I needed. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe? Everything helps me out. We'll definitely do a few more runs of this and check it out. Uh, though I probably won't keep this series going as long as some of my other ones on the channel, even though it is being well supported at the moment. Just because I don't want to spoil it when it gets into full release. I'm kind of intrigued to see what they do with the balancing on full release. But I'll, I'll definitely give it a few more runs and see like how things progress. I still haven't made this status effect build run. Maybe we'll, we'll try and just force that for a little bit and see how that works. All the other ones that we've just tested in this run on their own. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Everything helps me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.